trades are low. I've got a spare moment, so I thought I'd make uh, an end of week update with a potential trading idea. Now, I did post several uh, Instagram stories. Uh, Scotty's trading is the handle. If you if you're new to the channel, welcome as well. I do post a lot of stories, not so much YouTube videos. Like I try my best, but um, I I do work a day job. I'm uh, the head coach at a gym here in Perth, and so there's there's always something going on. So I do try my best. Um, I was talking about the Aussie dollar short. If we can see further risk off sentiment come in. But, you know, I didn't get into that. I did say I'd update and I thought I'd expand upon some points here just in the video. Now, we've been seeing a very topsy turvy situation with the markets where you'll see, um, you know, tentative selling a little bit, like almost to say, like, hey, we're just, you know, repositioning. Then it's like, nope, we're done. And then we bounce back. And that's sort of what it's looking like now. So just probably disregard, honestly. Um, the sell trade call it does not look like it's it's doing that and it looks like it is bouncing so um, that's sort of that in regards to uh, the Aussie dollar now let's have a look and see what gold's doing now I did mention the euro as well it sort of looks like US strength is cooling off euro could bounce Aussie could bounce honestly like those are my immediate impressions when I look at the chart to be fair also, what I will say is what a gorgeous day it is in Perth as well. It is beautiful. It's like seven, I mean, it's a little cool, but it's sunny and it's nice. So if you are in Perth, guys, I hope you're enjoying the weather as well. Um, all right, let's have a look at gold here. It's a gold sort of bouncing. But we've seen this. We've seen, you know, equity markets rally. Gold can rally too. And... Recently, the uncertainty and the, and the continued spread of coronavirus in the US has really driven some some uncertainties, and gold is sort of probably right now is it long, like yeah, yeah, it would be it's bounced probably at long right now. I'm pretty, I think this is looking like it's almost worth getting into with the stop probably at the low of that candle. I mean, which is um, seventeen ninety six. So that's my immediate impressions. Huh. But anyway, guys, um, look, other than that, there's not really much to talk about. I, I, I went over my Aussie trade long, my Euro pound trade long as well, which I took on Tuesday night. Both were looking pretty good, but then obviously fizzled out, which was unfortunate. I go into details about the trade thesis and, you know, I, I was happy with, with, with that, to be fair. Um, but look, guys, that's probably about it. Um, in regards to the update in my trade idea, like if for the Aussie dollar, I mean, I'm just finding myself focusing on that a little bit just because of my schedule and, and everything like that. Um, let's bring the Aussie up here again. Okay, so like what I do like about the Aussie short thesis, if we put, um, I just like some visual cues here on, on the chart. Um, let's do a shape. I don't know why that's flashing. Normally that means there's microphone issues as well. Um, I will be ordering a new laptop as well. It's not like an Alienware. It's one below that, like an MSI. I'll be getting one of those. Alienware is a little too pricey, guys. Like if I'm a big time trader, like I don't game at all. To be honest, like right now, I, I was playing Call of Duty. Um, I haven't played Call of Duty in a little while, actually. Um, the French group that I'm in, um, is, are they big into the football right now, the AFL in Australia? And I look honestly, I'll take a glance at it, but I, I, I just I've never got into it. When I was in high school, I played I played soccer, so I was never really keen on on that. Honestly, I just wasn't. To be fair, I like lifting weight and running fast. Well, what I thought was fast for fast for me and playing soccer. Um, but yeah, like, I mean, there's just room here to break down and there's a bit of room to the left, but it looks like it is holding up. So I would say tentatively, it's not a, it's not a short. It's honestly an aggressive long right now. Like you get in now and you'd be playing the range essentially is what you'd be doing. So there's that trade idea. And then there is stop loss would be down at stop loss would be down at the low there at 69.23. So you'd be about a 17 pit. You just get in market. I mean, there's pretty much no spread on the Aussie dollar with the broker I use. I'm using Oanda and Sam Trade. So that would be the trade idea there, guys. 
Um, this time of day though is interesting. I mean, again, it's leading into the London session, so you could do it, but it's just, you know, there could be some unpleasantries involved. But I mean, right now from market structure point of view and the candlestick, like it's, it's pretty good. I mean, the hourly, let's see with the alley and how it paints a picture. Yeah, yeah, good enough. It's good enough for me to go long, you know, um, gold holding up. The problem with gold is I've got small trading accounts for my clients. So I, I don't like to get into gold if they can't get into gold and really, you know, they need to add probably more just with the price per pip movement. Okay. That's what I would say with gold, you know, cause that's, it's quite a stop loss length. So I would be disrespecting the 1% risk per position like big time. It'd be not appropriate. So I'm going to leave that. Um, I just want to see the Aussie one more time. Now I've got it sort of in my sights. You know, if I was using a sniper analogy, it'd be like it's been sighted, like the target's been sighted, and I'm on the trigger. At that time, I'm feeling about the Aussie dollar right now, like big time. So I'm going to conclude the video, guys. Thank you for watching, and bye for now. Hope everyone has a great weekend. Um, if anything changes, I will update tomorrow. Not, well, if I get into the Aussie, I'll update later tonight as well. Okay, guys, thanks for watching and bye for now.